What's up, y'all? So, I'm really gonna have to get me a new hat wig because when I tell you this motherfucker is tired of me and I'm tired of it, because I've had it, I don't know how fucking long, but long enough, and y'all know I overwhelms this motherfucker because it's in every goddamn video. And this piece right here drives me fucking crazy. And plus, I want another color anyway. That's not the point. That ain't what I came here for. Um, so I'm gonna do a reaction video, and I know this shit old as hell, popular as hell, viral as hell, and it's like, why the fuck we still talking about this? Um, because I want to. Because I want to. And hold on, because my camera a little too hot, so I'm gonna adjust it real quick. Bam, okay, there we go. So, it's about Quavo and Sweetie, and the elevator situation, right? And again, I know the shit. Oh, I'm aware. Okay, I'm aware. I don't. Resp I don't react to shit immediately. I wait until it die down, and I gotta analyze the situation, see how other people feel about it, watch some other people talk about it, and then it's like, ah, fuck it. Let me say something. Plus, I can do what I want anyway. Who gives a fuck? But um, and I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, Vlogtober. With some good content, with some good reaction videos. Because y'all ain't helping me with the reaction videos, bro. Y'all got to send me something. Give me something. Give me something to work with. But if not, I'll figure it out myself. Or ask my creative directors, Christian and Ashley. So, the Quavo and Sweetie situation and the fight in the elevator. It's a lot of opinions on that. A lot of people who, and excuse the background, if it's loud, y'all know I live in the hood. So, it's a lot of people who have a lot of opinions and that are different opinions. Some believe that Quavo abused her. Others believe that Sweetie was the abuser or Quavo didn't abuse her. It's, it's a bunch of scenarios, a bunch of opinions. Nobody knows the real story except them two. We wasn't there. Dog, if you don't shut the fuck up. We wasn't there. So, we don't know. But, again, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. So, you got to respect people's opinion. If that's how they feel, that's how they feel. Even if I don't agree. So, my personal opinion, and I'm going to play the video, and we're going to go through the video also, and I'm going to give my opinion as I go. But, my personal opinion, I don't think he was the abuser. And for me to say that, and I fight for domestic violence, and I'm anti-abuse, so for me to say that, I feel like means a lot because I've seen abusive situations. I've witnessed abusive situations and my dad died at the hands of a woman. This is nothing compared to losing your father. I've, I've been in these situations and compared to this, that's, that's not what was happening to me. I didn't see him actually like that was his purpose to abuse her. And is it a, a lot of people like, well, it's toxic and all this other. Yeah, it's toxic. They had a toxic relationship. That was open to the public. That's one thing I don't aspire. I I know one day I'm going to be big, but I tell Rodney all the time, hey, bro, listen, don't be doing no fuck shit because I ain't trying to be on the internet. And even if I am fucking, I'm there. Y'all know it. Um, But I don't aspire to be on TMZ. That's not my thing. Uh, don't want to don't wanna really end up in that situation. But... It's, it's toxic, but it's their relationship. If they want to have a fucking toxic-ass relationship, let them have it. Is it good? No. Should you do it? No. Of course not. But again, we're not in these people's situations, so we don't know what's going on. We on the outside looking into the situation. So, and even with the media, the media don't know 100% what's accurate. We are not in front of these people in their life, in their house, all the time. We got to keep that in mind. We on the outside looking in. So we're going to give our opinions. I'm going to give my opinion. But again, disclaimer, I'm not a part of that relationship. So I'm limited on what I can say. Uh, I'm just speaking about it from my perspective. And I don't have my glasses on. So I'm going to try to do this as best I can because I can't see shit. So, and again, the video is coming directly from the TMZ website. I'll make sure we recording because I'll be fucking it for a bit sometimes. Okay.
See? Okay, pause, pause, pause. She pushed him first. She pushed him first, and he blocked it. Let's let's go back just to make sure I ain't tripping. We're gonna go back. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure that I saw what I just saw. Bam! See that right there? There you go. She pushed him first. What I tell y'all in that last video about putting your hands on me? Hmm? Don't do that. Don't do that. Now, again, this is where the video started. We don't know what happened to it, what happened prior to that. We don't know what the hell happened after that, really. So, we just looking at this one clip. We don't have no backstory. We don't know nothing. But based off the evidence given that we just saw, she pushed him first. And me being a woman, a crazy one at that, he probably never hit. Like, that was the initial touch right there like that was they wasn't they probably wasn't even physically fighting in the house like she pushed him don't put your hands on nobody have i pushed rodney before yep i have and if he hit me back bitch you shouldn't have pushed him but like quavo handled the situation he not gonna do that like women, women, we we react emotionally. Like we naturally, I do that naturally with everybody. I tend to kind of hit people or like say if they say something stupid, I'm like, man, and I'll, you know, hit them. I had to withhold myself from hitting kids when I was at school because it's just my natural reaction. I'm just used to like, you know, hitting people or tapping people or whatever. But she definitely pushed him first. I just want to make that known. Okay, let's go. Okay, he swung her. They're, they're playing tug of war with the fucking Call of Duty box. Right? Okay, let's go back. Let's go, let's go back because I want to make sure. I want to make sure we got this right. Because I feel like it's the swing. When he swings her arm, I feel like that's what people are talking about when they say abuse. So that right there, that's what they're considering abuse. But they're basically fighting over the Call of Duty box. Because what's probably going on is he like, listen, I just want to leave. I just want to get the fuck. Like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like, I don't want to be here with you. I'm trying to go home. And me and my Call of Duty box is going. Because that shit ain't cheap, first of all. So, it's like, bro, just let me get my shit and leave. She like, nah, son, where you going? You ain't going nowhere. You and this Call of Duty box ain't going nowhere. And if you are leaving, I'm keeping the Call of Duty box. He like, no, fuck that. You ain't keeping shit. Now, I done threw some bags in my motherfucking days. I done, I done kicked some people out. I done been kicked out. Me and Ronnie get into an argument. Y'all think I ain't never threw his shit over the balcony? And I'm just being transparent. Like, he pissed me off. <laughs> like, and we so bad, was like, nigga, leave then. Leave. Then as soon as they leave, we be like, where you going? Fuck wrong with you. Get back in this house. But, first of all, I'm not fitting to throw no shit that's Call of Duty price level. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> like no nah, son I'm not even finna see if she was smart she well she famous I was gonna say for me I'd keep them a fucking seller to some shit but I'm not finna throw nothing at the level of a car I throw a bag or something I threw an iPad once but you know I I just no nah, no nah. but they're arguing they're basically playing and we can't hear the audio either they're they're tug of war over a fucking Call of Duty box because he trying to go home and you stopping him from going home. How is that abusive? They're playing. To, it's literally like, get off me. No, you get off me. You get off me. Like, it's not like he in there whooping on her ass. If she would have left him the fuck alone, we wouldn't be here in the first place. And I only say if she would have left him the fuck alone is because he's clearly leaving her apartment. You should have just let that man go on about his business. 
But no, he want to get to pushing motherfuckers and starting shit. This shit like this happened. That's what I get for talking shit. I fucked up my goddamn thing. Okay. He pressing that button so goddamn. <laughs> he like, hurry up, shit. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, this is the part that gets me. It's the dramatic cry for me. Like, it's it's the dramatic. It's the, since hurt. I'm not putting that past no like I'm I'm not she probably hurt. She's hurt. It's clear that she's hurt. He did something, something happened, and she's hurt. So I'm not gonna not acknowledge her pain. Cause as a woman, I've been there. Like that's why she's sitting on the floor like that. I done sat on the floor crying a plenty of days. And the fact that she's sitting on the floor like that, being dramatic. Is what makes people believe that he's abusing her or abused her in this situation. Because while some may think she's on the floor or crying because she's in physical pain, that's not what it is. She's emotionally hurt. And in that moment, she couldn't do shit but sit there and cry. Only thing with me is I'm not about to do it on no fucking elevator. If I got to sit there and cry, nigga, we better be in the house. <laughs> like we gotta be I gotta be in my house I'm not gonna do that in public and then you open the door and there's a fucking man right there I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my cry and break down the dramatic moment in the house I'm not gonna do it on no goddamn elevator cause as soon as we would've played tug of fucking war I'd have just we rolled down to that bitch he'd have got off and then that'd have been that that'd have been the end of it then I'm gonna go in the house have my breakdown moment and then I'm gonna call nigga where the fuck you at quit playing with me or I'm just not gonna not gonna call you at all. It just depends. Again, every relationship is different. And the man just like fuck that. I ain't getting on this goddamn elevator. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> and it 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 gets more interesting to the point that I want to make. And he looking at her like, really, bitch, you going so you just gonna stand there. Like this shit's so stressful. I just I just want to go home. Like he just he just looking at her like I I just want to go home. Like please let me go home. Ronnie's looked at me like that before where I be doing the most and he just be like, really? Okay, so pay attention to this part, right? And I need people to acknowledge this part. I don't know no man that's abusive that's going to go back up to the apartment with you. Now my okay the dude wouldn't get wouldn't get on the elevator or whatever. Quavo could have got off and waited for another elevator flight. Uh flight. Lord have mercy. Uh, another elevator. Like even though the dude didn't want to come on, he could have very well took his shit off that elevator. He could have took the motherfucking stairs. But he didn't do that. He rolled back up to what I'm assuming is her apartment, again, don't know, the, don't know the details, puts the Call of Duty game in the door to block it and waits for her to get up out of the elevator. He could have left. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do... What abusive nigga you know gonna bring you back up, hold the elevator door, and wait for your motherfucking ass to come out of it? And get up off the goddamn floor. Because in his mind, you can't see their lips moving. But in his mind, I know this is what was happening. Bitch, if you don't fucking get up off this goddamn floor so I can go. Come on, I ain't got all day. Get off the floor so I can go. Go in the house and quit doing this. I'm ready to go. You're not ready to try to take my game. You pushed me and shit. Come on, man. Get in the, get in the fucking house. Get up. That's what, that's what was going through his mind in that moment. Like, he's frustrated now. <laughs> because when we do situations like that, when shit like this happen, with certain men, they get frustrated as fuck and they just want to be left alone. Again, me and Rodney have arguments. We're a, we, we a couple. It's a relationship. You're going to argue about shit. I'm the type of motherfucker, I'm going to fuss. I'm going to have an attitude. Like, I, I yell. I'm just, I'm that person. And 
Rodney's literally going to do this. Like he's You done? Like are you like are you done? And sometimes my fussing is now if my fussing is valid and we actually having a real argument, then it's like he'll engage, but he's not gonna yell. He's probably going to in some way maybe defend himself, but he's not going to yell. He ain't going to throw shit. He ain't going to get loud. I'm the loud one. I could be yelling at him, and he keeps the same tone. Now, if it's some shit I'm just fussing about that don't matter, then it's just kind of like, I'm going to go get some juice. <laughs> He'll just walk to the kitchen. And I'm going to follow you because I still got something to say. Like, this happens. Y'all, come on now. People in relationships, don't act like y'all don't argue. Don't act like y'all have not got into it. You know who you are. There's some point in the relationship where things are going to get a little heated. The question is, are we going to continue this relationship or are we just going to, uh-uh, this shit toxic, let's walk away. It's different for everybody. First of all, we all different people. We all got different characteristics. We all handle shit differently. We all got different paths. Some people have traumatic paths. Some people can put up with a lot of shit. Some people can't put up with shit at all. It's so many different things that goes into it. So many different things. Look at how she getting up. Like, girl, if you don't get your motherfucking ass up off, you ain't hurt. She walked off. She ain't shit wrong with her. And he, look, finally I can leave. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's funny. It's funny. And, then, you know, side note, I'm not being biased, but I do have a crush on Quavo because that is a, that's a fine, that's a fine man. Okay, let me tell you. He's probably toxic as fuck, but he's definitely fine. I don't know. It's just, he's cute to me. And I normally don't even do celebrities like that, but I actually, like, think he's cute. But... I'm not being biased about the situation. I just don't want this man to be labeled as an abuser, and he's not. Because she provoked that shit. Whether y'all like it or not, I'm sorry. She provoked it. And again, you talking to somebody who has been through some sort, some form of abuse. I've been raped three times. Abuse is not a, a strange thing for me. Again, my daddy died from abuse. Like... And if I can say that, I feel like it may hold a little bit of heavier weight coming from the experiences that I've had and me looking at this. Because I'm quick to point out abuse. Like, uh-uh, that shit abusive. But I just don't want this man to be painted as an abuser because I feel like that's not what that was. Because he wasn't in there whooping on her ass. First of all, look at... It's Quavo. Do he look like he finna fight anything or anybody? He screams pretty boy. He screams, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't want to get into it. Like, can we just not fight? Like, he ain't even like, he don't look savage whatsoever. He look like the type of motherfucker where it's like, bro, let's just, can we just not today? That man wanted to go home. Let him go home. And they could have been arguing because what probably when they was arguing and he like, all right, man, fuck this. Because, again, men, they, be, they don't be wanting to deal with that shit. So they quick to grab that shit and walk out the door in the middle of the motherfucking argument. All right, bro, whatever. It is what it is. I'm about to go. I'm about to head out. Me and my Call of Duty box and my little one bag, we finna go. And she said, fuck that. And she raced that nigga to that motherfucking elevator. Car, and every, you seen what happened after that. Now, other people said she was the abuser. I can't really say that either. Because when you call somebody an abuser, that's a heavy term. You can't just throw that term around. Like, you can't just say, oh, they're an abuser. Like, a, an abuser is something on a whole other different caliber. Now, being abusive in the situation, okay. But labeling somebody an abuser, that's different. So, I don't think she was the abuser. I don't think he was the abuser. Neither one of them are abusers. But I have to acknowledge that she did put it. She, she started that shit. She started that shit. I'm sorry. If you push me, I'm going to push you back. Like, I just, come on now. You in my way. You trying to take my shit. Bitch, move. 
Sorry, but bitch, move. Like, I just want to go. What are you doing? Get off me. And then you just sat here and just, just, like, being dramatic. I don't know if you, I don't know. Like, did you do it for the camera? Were you just trying to make it seem like you was hurt? Because she wasn't hurt. She got up slow as shit, but then she walked off regular than the motherfucker. And he didn't even push her hard enough to what she hit her head. None of that. And that's a strong, she's small, but that's a strong bitch. Y'all, <laughs> y'all better look up some background stories. She, she, look. I got the unpopular opinion. Like, I don't know if it's popular, unpopular, whatever. That's my opinion on it. He's not an abuser. It was not an abusive situation. It was an argument gone wrong. And it was some pushing and some tugging and some real disrespectful shit that happened. But it wasn't like he was in there whooping on her ass. And she technically wasn't whooping on his ass. It's your toxic, damn near everyday relationship. Because every relationship at some point had a toxic moment. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I said what I said. It might have not been this. There may have not been hands involved. But arguing is toxicity too. Every relationship has had at least one toxic moment. At least one. It's just a matter of do we keep going? Did we keep going? Or hell no. One is enough for me. I'm good. I'm out. I can't fuck with this shit. And everybody do shit differently. I hate I live by the airport. Kind of. You know what that's playing. Everybody do shit differently. I mean, that was my opinion on it, pretty much. Like, I know, again, I'm late as fuck. I don't care. Um, but I had to, it was, I don't know. I just, something just gravitated. I was kind of thinking about it a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I never said anything about that. And I feel like as a person who talks about abuse and who's experienced it, I probably should say something. Because I know in one in Natalie's live video, we feel the same way about it. Like, me and her feel the same way about it. I just don't feel like it was an I don't feel like he's an abuser. I'm sorry. I, I can't claim that. <laughs> I'm not putting that on that man. I'm not putting that on that man. And from what I heard, she crazy as fuck anyway. Hell, I'm crazy. So, girl, trust me. I know I be out here in these streets sometimes. And had that shit been me, it probably would have went the same way. It probably would have went the same way. I don't know about the whole pushing and tugging part. I can't, I don't, I I can't imagine me and Rodney sitting there fighting over no shit. Like, L pushing on each other. And we play fight all the time. Like, now that we do, we definitely play fight. That nigga definitely broke one of my fucking nails. But that was my fault. Because <laughs> I started it and pulled his head. It was a whole thing. Y'all don't need the details. But we play fight. Like, we'll do some shit like that in play fight. But... I'm sorry, I just don't, no, no, I can't, but, you know, like I said, everybody got different opinions, shit, you entitled to your own opinion, if somebody disagree with me, I'm not gonna get mad about it, that's just how you feel, I'm pretty sure at least one person gonna disagree with what I said, it's a part of life, I don't expect you to agree with everything, you should have your own opinion, you should be your own person, that's how it should be, don't be no yes person, or no yes man, or no yes woman. That was just mine. That was my opinion. So, reaction video slash opinion, however you want to call it, however you name it, claim it, whatever. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I forgot to say that in the beginning. Or maybe I did and I just don't fucking remember. I don't know. It's me. Y'all know how I am. And again, if you see me in multiple videos in the same goddamn outfit, it's because I'm recording. Back to back. God damn it, Natalie. <laughs> Back to back. That's what's happening. If I'm going to do Vlogtober, it's going to have to be back to back. And normally the video is probably not going to be this long. But that had to be a long video just because of the topic that we're talking about. So, I will see y'all in the next one. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. A wonderful... Don't, don't be toxic today. Don't do that. Don't be toxic any day. But don't, don't be toxic. But love y'all. Bye.